All right, saints. Um, Jesus brought this up to my attention today. I actually was uh, corresponding, not corresponding, but I emailed this brother twice. He didn't respond. In fact, he blocked me. Now, he could sit there and say, I'm lying or whatever, but that's what false prophets do. They will call the true watchman on the wall a liar. All right. This is the background on this person. Look at his channel. Excuse me. This guy is a nut, okay? I'm going to explain why. Look at how people try to correct them. No man knows the day nor the hour, because I guess you guys know where I'm going with this. Somebody else try to correct them. Um, you got other nut jobs that agree with him, so... You know, they're deceived, but somebody said he said hardly anything but speculation. And somebody even pointed out to him about false prophets, calling this guy a false prophet. Someone's questioning him, just quote one question, man, did he introduce himself as Jesus? In other words implying that this guy's hearing from demons. Now let me say something, ladies and gentlemen. This guy right here is telling you people that Jesus told them he's coming September 23rd, 2015. Now I'm going to let you hear. Sorry, saints. My phone fell out of my hand. Then I'm going to let you test the spirits. Okay? And I'm going to test it right with you. Right with you. This is his channel name, this nut. YouTube is full of nuts claiming that Jesus told them the day and the hour that the rapture is going to happen. I've already exposed a bunch of false prophets that even claim to hear from Jesus and they straight up hear from the devil. So, with, no, without further ado, I'm going to let you, and, I, and to be quite honest with you ladies and gentlemen, first of all, there's this channel name. I found this very entertaining. You might call me a mocker, a scoffer. I don't care what you say. I'm defending my father. God scoffs at the wicked. And it's in the word of God. He mocks the wicked. This person claims Jesus told them God's coming September 23rd, 2015. Now, obviously, I wasn't the only one that tried to correct them. He's not listening. He's deceiving souls. So I'm here to bring this to the church like the Bible says to do. Listen to what this nut says. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Is an asteroid going to hit the Earth? Is the rapture going to happen? Here's what I think the Lord showed me. Now this is crazy, but just think about this. Jesus said, The gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the world, and then the end will come. And he said that in Matthew 24, verse 13. Of Revelation chapter 14, the Bible says that the gospel is preached throughout all the earth, and right then after that is complete, Babylon the Great falls. So here's what I feel like the Lord told me. What happens when the mission is complete, when the gospel has reached every tongue, every tribe, every nation, and every First of all, I'm going to stop right there. The gospel has not reached every tongue, any every tribe, every nation. Otherwise, we wouldn't have Muslims and Hindus and every other ungodly faith out there. Okay? We wouldn't be having that. We wouldn't be having people cursing God and rejecting God without even hearing the gospel. The gospel hasn't reached every tongue, every nation. The gospel, God sends his servants out. People have a choice to listen to the gospel, okay? So the gospel has reached a lot of people, but not every tongue. There's still people that don't know what Jesus did on the cross. There's a lot of people out there. But here's Jesus Christ's position. He's coming. I made a video about this. He's coming whether y'all are ready or not. Because the way Jesus feels is that you all had a lot of time. We had enough time. Enough time. Ample time to get our houses in order. So that it hasn't reached every tongue, the gospel. There's still souls that need to come to Christ. You got people that are not feeding the sheep right. And you got people that are just not fulfilling the requirements that God has set forth that we have to preach the gospel. And you have those that are preaching the gospel, very few righteous Christians, not goats, 
Okay, I'm talking about the sheep of the Lord that are preaching the gospel and people are just making the choice to reject God. Check this out. And ladies and gentlemen, put the full armor of God when you're listening to demons like this. Put spiritual ears on. Listen, but don't listen. Listen to the Holy Spirit, not false prophets like this. Well, the Bible says, Jesus said, and then the end will come. And then in the Bible, in Revelation, it says, the very next thing to happen in history is Babylon's great fall. Here's what I'm saying. September 23rd, 2015, I believe that the Lord says, officially, mission complete. The gospel is out to every tongue, every nation, every tribe, every people on the face of the planet. I really believe God spoke that. I, I Because I've been asking God. I've been saying, God, what is this September 23rd, 2015? And I've really been praying about it. And I don't, I don't, I do trust some people's testimony. And other people I don't. But I will say that I know it's the end times. And I know what the Bible says. I've known for a while that the Lord's been telling me that once that mission is complete, Babylon the Great can fall any time. So September 23rd, 2015, Guess what? From that point on, at any time, there could be thermonuclear war. There could be the day of the Lord. There could be Revelation chapter 6, 12, the sixth seal. Could be Babylon the Great Falls at any time after that point. And one thing that I was saying when, when, that, when the Holy Spirit showed me that is you look at the history this is something the Lord told me a while ago. He said, when everything cools down in the earth, and it seems really calm, He said, that's when you know it's really close. And it was a few months ago that Russia was doing flights across the West Coast, outside of California. Russia was flying over Europe. I'm going to stop right there for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. He's talking about Revelation 6. I mean, yeah, Revelation, I think the sixth seal. That's not going to happen until well into the tribulation. Okay? Well into the tribulation, I believe, towards the end. And the Daniel 9.27 prophecy is going to usher in the tribulation. And the Daniel 9.27 prophecy has not been fulfilled. He's telling you in layman's terms. And you got to have spiritual ears to hear. What he's telling you, okay, is that he believes... That the Lord told him the rapture is going to take place December, I'm sorry, September 23rd, 2015. He could tell you that he didn't date set or whatever, but he believe, he's telling you that the Lord gave him a date. Now, let's test the spirits, ladies and gentlemen. Let's test the spirits. And I showed you, I showed you, I showed you the scripture before, Okay. I showed you that before. The let's test the spirits. He said that he spoke to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave him that date. Okay. That's what he said. Okay. Jesus Christ is not a liar. I've been over this before. Okay. So if Jesus Christ gave him a date, then who's the one that spoke these words in, the, in, in Matthew 24, 36? Who, who spoke this? If Jesus Christ gave him a date, then who spoke this? A liar? No. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is not a liar. Jesus Christ spoke these very words. So if Jesus Christ spoke these very words, and he's saying Jesus Christ gave him a date, there's something wrong here. There's, there's something off. There's something wrong with this picture. Somebody's lying. Somebody's not hearing from Jesus. And I'm going to tell you right now, this person is not hearing from Jesus. Jesus didn't tell him September 23rd, 2015, all these events are going to happen. The, the rapture is going to take place. The Lord never told him that. Never told him that. And I'm here to stand up for my father to say that this is what Jesus said. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. 
knoweth no man. So no man knows when the Lord is coming. No man knows that. So if no man knows that, that means he doesn't know that, this person. God is not a liar. If this person is claiming that God told him when he was coming, September 23rd, 2015, he's exalting himself above Jesus Christ himself and above the angels, and that's very dangerous. I would not do that if I was him. Let's go on. I'm not going to play the whole video because I honestly can't stomach it. For real. This is utter filth coming out of this person's mouth. And it's pretty sad because he doesn't probably, he probably don't know that he's hearing from an antichrist false prophet spirit. Russia was sending planes a few months ago. All this talk about the Iran nuclear deal. All this, Crimea, Boko Haram, ISIS. And now guess what? It's the end of June. Everything's cooling down. You don't hear about Russia sending flights over the UK. You don't hear about Russia. The reason why you don't hear about Russia doing this and doing that is because the media, the mainstream media, is not telling you anything. Russia and China are planning to invade the United States straight up. Jesus told me. They're planning to invade the United States. They're not telling you anything because they want you, the elites want you to be sleeping distracted, out of the loop, continue with your little lives. They want you to be so distracted that when stuff hits the fan, you're unprepared and you don't even know what to do. I'm telling you something, ladies and gentlemen. You people need to wake up. And I'm not saying to all you people. You need to stop following satanic prophets like this. Alright? You need to start seeking this. Which is the word of Jesus Christ. And test the spirits like I just did in front of you. Okay? Sending flights outside of California or down to Mexico. I'm going to stop one more thing here. He set a date for September 23rd, 2015. Let's see what the Lord tests about, says about testing false prophets. Hold on. I'm defending my father. I am so sick of these false prophets putting words in God's mouth. For real. Okay. 1821. Deuteronomy. I'm sorry. 1822. We can start there. see what the Lord says when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord if the thing follow not nor come to pass that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken you see that scripture hath not spoken Deuteronomy 18 22 that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken the prophet has spoken it presumptuously do not be afraid of him in other words if that event doesn't come to pass God never told him that means that that person is hearing from a demonic Antichrist false prophet spirit. Now, I'm gonna show you something else. In Deuteronomy 18:21, you see how it asks? You may say to yourselves, How can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? And then 18:22, it explains that if they get a prophecy and it doesn't come to pass, that is not which what the Lord has spoken. Okay? Jeremiah 20, 28, 9. But the prophet who prophesies peace will be recognized as, as the one truly sent by the Lord only if the prediction comes true. But if the prediction don't come to pass, that person was never sent by God. That's one. Number two, how do you test the spirits? Is here. God says no man knows the day nor the hour. That means no human being, God is going to tell them when he's coming. Okay? Jesus Christ is not a liar. Ergo, that means evidence that he's listening to a demonic spirit. You don't hear, you don't hear Kim Jong Un. Let's skip a little bit through this. In your native tongue, in your language, over the phone, over the internet, however it is. But the Lord spoke to me since September 23rd. Everybody wants to know what's going to happen September 23rd, 2015. <clears throat> 
I'll tell you. The Lord says the gospel is out. And the next thing to happen in history is Babylon the Great Falls. And as I've been proclaiming by the Holy Ghost, these three events are one and the same. The day of the Lord from Amos chapter 5. Babylon the Great Falls from Revelation chapter 14. The sixth seal from Revelation chapter 6 verse 12. And what it says in the book of Joel and the book of Acts where it says, Blood, fire, and billows of smoke. The sky will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. He's telling y'all the day of the Lord. He's even taking it up a notch. He's telling y'all the day of the Lord is September 23rd, 2015. That's what he's telling y'all. Y'all need to have spiritual ears to hear. This guy's a false prophet. Okay, because the sixth seal is going to happen during the tribulation, I believe towards the end. And I already told you all that the tribulation, which is a seven year period, is ushered in by the Daniel 927 prophecy. The day of the Lord is not going to happen. That's a day of wrath. Okay? That's a day of wrath. That's when God pours his wrath out. God's bride, whoever they are, the elect, are not appointed to wrath. All right? So the bride of Christ will not see the wrath of God. On that day, they will be taken out of harm's way. How is that going to happen? I don't know. It could be via the rapture. It could be via they're just protected. I don't know. No man knows the day and the hour. God is very clear on that. Okay? So you have a false prophet telling you people that the Lord's day of the Lord is September 23rd, 2015. And he's date setting. He's even implying in between the lines about the rapture. This guy is speaking utter blasphemy right now. And if you people do not seek the Lord's counsel and ask God and test the spirits like he says to do, you will be blaspheming God too. You could like what I have to say or dislike. I can care less. I care and love everybody, but I'm about my father's business. Jesus told me to speak on this or the blood's on my hands and I'm not trying to make my father angry. This guy is a false prophet. Do you get that? I just tested the spirits right before your eyes. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There is something major that's going to go down, but only the Father knows about it. Okay? I know that World War III, the Great War, is upon us. That's, that's, that's inevitable. That's going to happen. Okay? But no man knows the day or the hour. That's the bottom line. Nobody knows when the rapture is going to happen. Nobody knows when the rapture is going to happen. Nobody knows none of that. You people need to wake up and stop listening to false prophets like this. I'm not saying all you people, but most of you people flock to channels like this. To people that give you messages that tickle your ears. Jesus did not tell him anything. Because no man knows that they know the hour. God's not going to sit here and tell a man major pivotal events in the Bible. And don't come at me with Amos chapter 3 verse 7. God will only tell... God will not plan anything without selling his servants to prophets. God is not going to tell anybody the day nor the hour. He's only going to reveal to his servants the prophets the secrets he feels the true prophets of God need to know. That's it. But this guy is a straight up false prophet. The minute I saw his video and the minute I was listening to like three minutes in, I was like, oh my goodness. We got another nut job date setting. They're all over YouTube, saints. I mean, they really seriously are. They're in the world, too. They're all over the place. Jesus Christ is coming, ladies and gentlemen. Get your houses in order. Stop following people like this and just stay right with the Lord and follow Christ. You want to follow someone? Follow Christ. He's not just someone. He is God. So this information, take it to Jesus in prayer. I am not the only one that tried to correct them. I'm going to go over the comments with you again. Okay, someone tried to correct him there. I'm going to let you read. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let you read. 
Somebody pointed out about the Temple of Jerusalem being built. That's part of the Daniel 9.27 prophecy. It's part of it. You just got to read the word. It's not in it, but it's part of it. Because at that time, the temple should be completed. I believe. I'm not stating it as fact. Okay? People have tried to correct this person. Somebody's saying that he said speculation. Some of these people are nuts and they believe this person without testing the spirits. That's how you easily get to see. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, take this information to the Lord. Ask God if what you're being told is true. Test my spirit. Don't take what I say at face value. But if I was you, I would not listen. This is his channel name. He is a false prophet. September 23rd is going to come and go. But something big is going to go down. I believe it. Um, the Jewish holiday coming up, I believe something big is going down. And I believe that Russia and China and United States enemies are preparing for war with the United States and they're not telling you nothing. In fact, I believe the United States is preparing for war, preparing for war too. That's his channel name. He's exposed as a false prophet. Another nut.